This video is about graphs and equations of circles. Suppose we want to find the equation of a circle of radius 5 centered at the point 3, 2. It'll look something like this. For any point x, y on the circle, we know that the distance of that point x, y from the center of the circle is equal to the radius, 5. From the distance formula, we know that that distance of 5 is equal to the square root of the difference in the x-coordinates, that's x minus 3 squared, plus the difference in the y-coordinates, y minus 2 squared. If I square both sides of that equation, I get that 5 squared is equal to the square root squared. In other words, 25 is equal to x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared, since the square root and the squared undo each other. A lot of times people will write the x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared on the left side and the 25 on the right side. This is the standard form for the equation of this circle. This same reasoning can be used to find the general equation of a circle with radius r centered at the point hk. For any point x, y on the circle, the distance between the point x, y and the center hk is equal to the radius r. So the distance, which is r, is equal to the square root of the difference between the x-coordinates, x minus h squared, plus the difference in the y-coordinates, y minus k squared. Squaring both sides, as before, gives us r squared is equal to the square root squared, Canceling the square root and the squared as before and rearranging the equation gives us x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. That's the general equation for a circle of radius r and center at the point hk. Notice that the coordinates of the center point h and k are subtracted but these two squared terms are added because they're added in the distance formula. And notice that the radius is squared on the other side. If you remember this general formula for a circle, that makes it easy to write down the equation of a circle. For example, if we want the equation of a circle of radius 6 and center at the point 0, negative 3, then we have r equals 6, and our center, hk, is 0, negative 3. So plugging into the formula, we have x minus 0 squared plus y minus negative 3 squared equals 6 squared, or simplified, x squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 36. Suppose we're given an equation, like this one, and we want to decide if it's the equation of a circle, and if so, what's the center and what's the radius? Well, this equation matches the form for a circle, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h equals 5, k equals negative 6, that way, when we subtract a negative 6, it's the same thing as adding a 6. And on the other side, the 5 needs to be equal to r squared. So that means that r must be the square root of 5. So this is our radius, and our center is the point 5, negative 6. So this is indeed the equation of a circle, which we could then graph by putting down the center and estimating the radius, which is a little bit more than 2. This equation might not look like the equation of a circle, but it can actually be transformed to look like one. So we want to transform it to look like something of the form x minus h squared 
plus y minus k squared equals r squared. First, I'd like to get rid of the coefficients in front of the x squared and the y squared. So I'm going to divide both sides by 9. This gives me x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 2y plus 4 equals 0. Next, I'm going to group the x terms together, the x squared and the 8x, and I'll group the y terms together, the y squared and the minus 2y, and I'm going to subtract over the 4 to the other side. This still doesn't look much like the equation of a circle, but in the next step, I'm going to do something called completing the square. So I'm going to take the coefficient of x, 8, and divide it by 2 to get 4, and square that to get 16. I'm going to add 16 to both sides of my equation. So I'm going to add the 16 here, and then I'll add it to the other side to keep things balanced. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the coefficient of y. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. When I square that, I get 1. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides of my equation. Add a 1 here by the y's, and then add a 1 on the other side to keep things balanced. Now on the right side, I have the number 13. On the left side, I can wrap up x squared plus 8x plus 16 into the expression x plus 4 squared. To convince you that's correct, let me multiply out x plus 4 times x plus 4. That gives me x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 16, or x squared plus 8x plus 16, which is exactly what I have above. Similarly, I can wrap up the expression y squared minus 2y plus 1 into y minus 1 squared. Again, let me multiply out y minus 1 squared to show you that this works. So that would give me y squared minus y minus y plus 1, which is y squared minus 2y plus 1, exactly what I started with above. If you're wondering how I knew to use 4 and negative 1, the 4 comes from half of x's coefficient of 8 here, and the negative 1 is half of the negative 2. Now we have an equation for a circle in standard form, and we can read off the center, which is negative 4, 1, and the radius, which is the square root of 13. It might seem like it's magic to take half of the coefficient of x and square it and add that to both sides in order to wrap up an expression to be a perfect square. But to see where that comes from, let's expand out the expression x minus h squared, the expression that we're trying to get to. x minus h squared is the same thing as x minus h times x minus h which distributes out to x squared minus hx minus hx plus h squared, or x squared minus 2hx plus h squared. Now if we start out with this part, an x squared term and some coefficient times x, and we're trying to decide what to add on so that we can wrap up our expression into a perfect square, well the thing we want to add on is h squared which is half of the coefficient of x squared, right? Because half of minus 2h is minus h, square that to get h squared. And then when we do wrap up this entire expression, it's half of this coefficient of x that appears right here. This trick of completing the square is really handy for turning an equation for a circle in disguise into the standard equation for a circle. In this video, we found the standard equation for a circle, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where r is the radius and the point h k is the center of the circle. We also showed the method 
of completing the square. When we have the equation of a circle in disguise, completing the square can help us transform it into a standard form.